We need each other. We cannot survive if we have distrust of one another. That is why the truth is so important. The history of lying. Hello, students. One last class. I've actually quite enjoyed teaching you guys. So, let's do a little review. We need each other. Humans, that is, need each other. We cannot survive if we have distrust of one another. That is why the truth is so important. Truth is, therefore, not only a moral imperative, but the glue that holds society together. Humans are not altruistic. Yes, we depend on each other, but that also makes us very easy to undermine. We're always balancing what we want with what we should have, what we should do, and what we should be. Now, unfortunately for others, we are very well equipped instinctively to deceive. But we also know intuitively when something is off with someone else. What if the line takes place online? Well, not to be callous, but you might be out of luck. The problem is that it's hard to promote honesty when people are reaping heavy profits from their lies. Convincing companies or organizations to block troll farms, block fake accounts, delete hateful comments from their platforms is very important, yes. But for as long as these companies are making money from such things, it is nearly impossible. After all, we are not altruistic. That's why you have to be thoughtful, thorough, in all your affairs, not just online, but in person also. So that when you may meet a fabricator, you'll be able to discern that he doesn't care whether he's lying or not. Or a relativist, who you'll have to make sure sticks to the facts. Or a denier, whom you'll have to press in order to get a response. And finally, the influence liars. The ones who lie and hide in plain sight. Sure, they'll, they'll finagle and weave their way in and out of truth and lies, but remember this. They are more than just a collection of nice attributes that they present to the world. They are people who don't want to tell you what they've done. I will say this. It has been fascinating seeing how people's you know, individual versions of truth have interacted with each other. Makes you wonder how we determine which one is more important or which one is closer to the truth. Can we? I know Moynihan is chomping at the bit to give his naming the culprit speech. And I expect we'll all be treated to it on suspect. And it does seem neatly wrapped up. As if it were all that simple. For your final piece of homework, take into consideration what we've learned this semester. How will you apply the things you've learned to your everyday life? And remember, I'm watching closely.